Welcome back to Mechanical Engineering Design. This is the tutorial that we drew in the last video. That is tutorial number 20 and here was the sketch. So if you are interested, kindly check out the link provided in the description and try to see how we came up with it. And in today's tutorial, you are going to design this part. And the first rule of design, you first have to check where we have so many features or many views and decide which view you are going to start with. You can either start from front view, right view, or top view. And looking from this design, we have an option of doing design from right plane or front plane. And in this case, we are going to use front plane, this direction. So the base has a width of 60, followed by a width of 50 on top. And we are going to work from the base to this height, 45 and 15 here so let's get started go to new part okay select front plane sketch we are going to use corner rectangle pick line draw it horizontally like this up like this now base 60 this height 15 this height 45 and this base 50 escape we are going to give relations this midpoint and origin coincident this line and this line collinear identify midpoint this line and origin vertical relations this line and this line are equal because this line is horizontal finally sketch is fully defined go to features and extrude so extrusion distance is 90 reverse direction distance of 90 millimeters like this and then okay the next part we create this slice with an angle. Horizontal distance is 10 millimeters. This distance is 45, while this distance is 30. So click on this face and sketch. Pick line from this corner like this. We also had an option of doing fillet, which is a bit simpler, but we can proceed with this sketch. Distance of 10. And from this line, this point, this height is 30. Go to features and extrude cut. Select up to next. Okay. Now, here is something that comes in. From our previous sketch, select mid plane. Like this. Then, okay. We are going to mirror this cut. So select mirror, then select front plane, we just mirror, we select this cut, see preview, and then OK. Next, we are going to create this part, internal diameter 24, outer diameter 50 millimeters, total distance 70, and it is located at height of 60 from below which means it's on this line or this face. Now select right plane and sketch. Pick circle on this line, drag it outwards, dimension, diameter of 50, it's fully defined. Go to features and then extrude. Select mid plane. Total distance 70 mm, like that, and then OK. Come to this surface, sketch, pick circle from origin, this center point, like this, smart dimension, diameter of 24 millimeters. Go to features, extrude cut, select blind, like that, OK. Now next part is this hole. 
so from this end or this line which is this one distance of 18 millimeters and uh, length of that so click here and sketch click on a rectangle like this smart dimension this distance 30 millimeters and the width of 18 millimeters give relations from origin identify midpoint and give vertical relations one dimension remaining which is this distance so five millimeters from this line this plane five millimeters so smart dimension this distance five millimeters like this then go to features extrude cut now on direction you select through all both okay see then go to features and mirror mirror plane select round plane features to mirror select this feature see preview and then okay see what we have so this feature is what we have here thank you so much for tuning in i hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial see you in the next one